Hi Anand. Hi, uh, so we've been doing or uh, conducting the courses in few colleges, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But I have a feel that students are not able to follow mm -hmm. the sell and buy later concept. Okay. So is there an, any way where we can explain them in a Okay. If I understand your question correctly, when we conduct our program, yeah. we say that in derivatives in future you can sell first, first and, and buy, buy later or yeah. buy first and sell Same. later and they are not able to understand yeah this. they are not able to understand because they are just starting up with the course right so what they are thinking is like i don't have anything in my oh. hand so what i am going to sell okay. okay fair enough it's a very nice point it's a very interesting question so what you are saying is i don't have anything so yeah. what do i sell that's the question of the I students sell? yeah okay. See, I will try to explain this point with an example. Okay. okay. See, what happens is, if you really see the definition, actually what you do is, have you heard of something called as a promissory note? No, no. You have not heard. Okay. If you see, if you want to, let us say, borrow money from somebody. Okay. What they will say is, you give me a promissory note, they will say. Yes. Which means in a stamp paper, you will say that, I hereby promise that I take so much money from you, I will return it before this date with this interest. This is called yes. as a promissory note, correct? Futures or derivatives are like promissory notes. Okay. So what happens when you actually sell a share, for example, you say a share name that you know. Just tell me one share name. I'll say Ashok Leyland. Ashok Leyland. Okay. When you deal with Ashok Leyland share in the future segment, if you sell first, what you are actually doing is, which you are not aware, but it is being taken care by your broker, which can be a bank and SEBI, etc. You actually write like a contract, which is similar to a promissory note. Okay. Where you say that, I hereby acknowledge that I am selling the underlying Ashok Leyland share for rupees so and so. I also agree that I will buy the share before the expiry of the current month. Okay. So this contract is what you are basically giving to the other person. Okay. And also you would have heard in our class saying whenever a person sells, it means the other person is buying, correct? So the other person, what he or she does is, like a promissory note receiver or like somebody who gives money, he gives a contract saying that I have purchased the underlying Ashok Leland shares for rupees so and so and so and so don't and I so and so did and I accept that I will sell this before the last the last Thursday, which happens to be the expiry of the month. So, uh, this you always say is it actually happens electronically, correct, right? Correct. So, how does we do, like we write this in a contract or what we exactly Very, very do? nice question. You don't do anything. If you see the brokers will always have something called as a contract note. Okay. So, what will happen is, every day, to your registered email ID, whatever transaction you do, automatically this contract note will be sent to your account. So you mean to say this contract note or, or whatever the trades which have happened in my account, I will get it in my mail. Yes, not only whatever trades, every contract has a contract note. Okay. So when you sell Azure Cleland in futures, it is like a promissory note where you have a contract note that that note is what is actually worth selling okay it is not the share of ashok Leyland. so you don't have to be worried i don't have ashok Leyland shares yeah. how can i sell it's okay. not like that the underlying share is ashok Leyland, but what you are actually exchanging with the buyer is this contract note okay hope it okay. gives you some idea yes, and yes, some clarity yes, yes. Okay. okay thank you you're welcome